once we decided to get married, it was, you know, I was, at least to me was the first question is kids. And, you know, we obviously wanted to have children. It's hard because we, when we were engaged, I ended up getting diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So when you ask what our thoughts were when, when we were engaged, like it, we thought about that having families, but we just, we had other things on our mind. I met Dr. Krivak in the hospital room. His goal was to leave it so that hopefully, eventually, she could have kids, because obviously that's what we wanted. So I went through six rounds of chemo. I lost my hair. When we got married, I had a wig on. It took a while, a couple years, before my body was back. That was an exciting day, actually, because a lot of it, that doesn't happen for a lot of women after going through that kind of chemo. So he put us in contact with some doctors and um, we went through IVF. We had Richie and then three years later, we decided to go back and do it again and we had Pippa. So after that, our family is now complete. I'm thankful Dr. Krivak, Chloe has a mom and Richie and Pippa have a life. Obviously, we love Dr. Krivak and are so thankful for everything that he has done with, done for us. But at the same time, we are so thankful for AHN and recognizing his talent and letting him do what he does best as far as dealing with patients and the amazing research that he does for ovarian cancer. There's people that helped fund his research 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years ago for her to get the care that she had and for us to quite honestly have the children that we have. We wouldn't have it without that. So now it's our yeah. turn to fund the research for future patients. We do it for our daughters, our sisters, our mothers, our aunts, our cousins. For the past five years, we've been hosting a golf outing that's at Allegheny Country Club, which is like right around the corner from our house. We bring them in with the golf, but then once they're there, they realize why we're there and the amazing things that Dr. Krivak is doing. Thanks to a few really, really generous people, we've raised over a quarter million dollars each year in the golf outing. We're at about 1.5 million now. We'd like to be over 2 million in the next two years, and then we'll see what happens from there. She's really lucky. The journey, was it hard? It was very hard. I think with ovarian cancer, you hope that her journey is every woman's journey in the future because yes. she's alive and she has kids. They call it the silent killer because the diagnosis is so hard. We have friends, two friends, that have gone through the battle. And, and didn't make it. So my goal, our goal, is to not have that happen to anyone else. <sighs> to not be misdiagnosed or sent from doctor to doctor. Um, it's frustrating when you know something's wrong. And you can't find the answers until it's too late. We feel like with the fundraising that we've done, the things that Dr. Krivak and his team are doing and the stuff that Allegheny Health Network is doing, it's happening. The research is going to hopefully change the outcome for people that wouldn't have the outcome that she has. She's not the norm, she's the exception. And we want, we want it to be that my case is the norm.